Hello and welcome to this video about Denodo Support Registration for Cloud Marketplaces. Denodo offers Cloud Marketplace instances in Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and also Google Cloud Platform. As part of this video, we are going to show you how to reach out to the Denodo team for any queries or issues when working with the Denodo Marketplace instance in the cloud. Note that the Denodo standard support is available for all subscribers. To benefit from Denodo support, you would need to register at the support site of Denodo. In this demonstration, we will cover how to register for support using the Google Cloud Platform offering that Denodo provides. As a prerequisite, you must have a GCP account to create and launch your Denodo Professional for GCP pay-as-you-go instance using that GCP account. As a part of this video, we are going to see how to register and sign into the Denodo support site, the list of features available in the Denodo support site and creating a support case using the Denodo support site. Let's watch how to do each of these steps in the next few minutes. Before we show you how to register, let us quickly check the Quick Start user manual for GCP. Denodo is committed to helping the customer succeed with the Denodo Professional through our comprehensive network of technical support and services. Therefore, we offer Denodo for GCP Professional support for all paying subscribers by default and Denodo for GCP Premium support at an additional fee. To access this service, you must first register on the Denodo website. In addition to the web-based support, you will also have access to the software updates, installers, licenses, and also Denodo Connects, which will improve your data virtualization experience. Now let us go back to the GCP support page. For Denodo support registration, if you already have a Denodo account, click on Sign In option. In case you don't have a Denodo account, Click on Register to sign up for the Denodo Community and Support Services. Let's quickly check the Register option. Once you click on Register, you need to fill out the form by providing your first name, last name, email address, and 12-digit Google subscription ID in order to activate your Denodo Support site account. Here, you can see a field called Subscription ID, which will be unique for each organization. To obtain the 12-digit Google subscription ID, you can click on your organization details section in the marketplace as shown in the video. Finally, click on the Denodo platform for Google Terms and Conditions checkbox to accept the terms and conditions, then click continue to complete the registration process. As for this demo, since we already have an active support account, we are skipping this part and using the sign in option to log into the support site. Here, you can provide the username and password, then click on login to continue. In the Support Registration form, add a 12-digit subscription ID and accept the terms and conditions. After providing the information, click on Register. After successful registration for Denodo support for GCP, you can see the following message. Here, you can click on the Denodo support site link to open the support site. After navigating to the Denodo support site, click on the Sign In button located on the right side. Here. You can use the same login credentials, such as username and password provided during the registration process. Then, click on Login. On the Support Site main page, you can see Getting Started Guides, such as Support Site Quick Start Guide, Maintenance and Service Guide, and Annual Maintenance Quick Facts. Then, in the Navigation bar, the Support menu provides access to downloads, knowledge, and support and services. In the Downloads menu, you can access the updates, hotfixes, Denodo Connects, and licenses. The first subsection is the Updates option, in which we have different updates available for the different Denodo platform components. Then, we have the Hotfixes section. Here, you can find the list of hotfixes provided to you based on your request. In general, hotfixes provide temporary solutions that address specific enhancements or bug fixes in the Denodo platform. Please note that the hotfix provided must not be distributed outside the customer organization. Then, we have the Denodo Connect section, where you can find out-of-the-box resources provided by Denodo that will help you improve your data virtualization experience. Lastly, we have the Licenses section, in which you can find your license information. The next menu is the Knowledge section. As the name implies, this section will provide a list of resources that will help you to gain more knowledge about the Denodo platform, such as user manuals, the knowledge base, Q&A, tutorials, videos, and education. The last menu we have is the Support and Services. 
The first option available is Add a New Case. This will allow you to create new support cases with Denodo, and the team will help you with the solution. Next is the option to meet with a technical advisor. This can be used to directly request a meeting with a technical advisor and discuss the necessary topics through a meeting. The third option is My Cases, which lists the support cases opened by you. The fourth option is the Enhancement section. Here, you can create new enhancements that will be helpful for your use case implementation and also suggest options that will help improve the Zenodo platform. Finally, we have the My Team option. With this option, you can either grant permissions to your current backup users or add new read-only users. In the next half of the video, we are going to show you in detail how to create a new support case using the Add a New Case option. In this demonstration, we are going to create a support case on how to connect Snowflake with the Zenodo platform. To start with, you need to provide the subject of the case. For this example, we can keep the subject as how to connect Snowflake with the Zenodo platform. Next, we need to input some basic information regarding our environment, such as operating system, Java version, case type, etc. For now, let's select the hardware platform as Intel slash AMD, operating system as Windows 10, the Java version as 1.8, and finally, the type of the case as question, as we are just asking for information. To get more insights on case types, along with their severity and priority, you can refer to the Zenodo Maintenance and Support Service Guide. Here, you can see that the type selection will add the environment and or impact selectors. These selectors will set the severity field automatically. As we scroll down, we can see the priority dropdown box available. Here, you can choose the priority for your support case. We have P1 to P3, which goes from high priority to low priority. For this demonstration, let us choose priority as P1, high. Then, in the product version section, you can choose the Denoto platform version. For instance, let's choose this as Denoto 8.0 from the list. As you can see, we have three different update sections for three components of the Denoto platform. For this demo, we will choose the option as None. Next, we have this Notification Email option. Here, only support site user emails can be added as notification emails, and in the description field, you can enter the detailed information of your use case or scenario. You can also attach files, such as log files, by clicking on the Choose File button. After providing the necessary information, click the Add Case button to submit the case. Upon successful creation, our Zenodo team will help you out to resolve your technical query via the support case. That's all for this video series about registering for a Zenodo support when working with the Zenodo Professional Marketplace instances. We hope this session was useful. You can register for the 30-day trial version by using the link shown here. In addition, you can take a look at the frequently asked questions about different cloud marketplace instances for more information. Lastly, if you have any questions regarding marketplace deployment, please do not hesitate to reach out to us by sending an email to cloud.solutions at denodo.com. Thanks for watching.